BeLive TV has made some major changes recently. So in this video, we thought we'd dive into a full BeLive TV review to help you decide if it's the best live stream software for your next YouTube or Facebook live stream. Hey, it's Justin Brown here from Primal Video, where we help you amplify your business and brand with video. If you're new here, make sure you click that subscribe button and all the links to everything we mentioned in this video, you can find linked in the description box below. So let's jump into it. BeLive TV has made some major changes since our last review, including some powerful new features which can completely change the game for your next Facebook Live or YouTube live stream. So in this video, we're gonna look at our review of the latest software, including all the pros and cons and everything you need to know to decide if this is the best option for you right now. And as we're going through, let me know down in the comments below, what is your go-to live streaming software right now and why? So BeLive TV is one of the fastest and the easiest ways to go live online. Up until recently though, it only worked with Facebook Live, but now it's working with YouTube, Twitch, and they also have RTMP support, meaning that you can broadcast to so many more places too. It's got a solid feature set of everything that you would wanna be able to do while you're live, but also it just runs in your web browser, so Chrome or Safari. So there's no software that you need to download and install on your computer, which means that this is cross platform. You can run this on Mac or on PC and get the same experience. Now in regards to features and what you can do in there, you can easily add in things like titles, just normal text on screen, someone's name or some important information you might wanna bring up on screen. You can have scrolling titles, which are going to scroll across your screen, or you can even bring up what they call an agenda. So essentially this is a list or dot points that you might wanna bring up, maybe the overview of how your live stream is going to go down and the different sections you're going to cover. And all of these are things that you can set up before you actually go live. So when you're live, all you need to do is to click on the titles that you want and they will pop up on screen. While you're live, you can see all of your comments and all of your interactions from people that are viewing your live stream, and you can even feature those comments on the live stream. So you can click on them, and they will appear on the live feed as a featured comment. Now, while this feature is something that we're starting to see in a lot more applications these days, it was really BeLive that was one of the first companies to make this so easy for you to add in your comments and interactions into your live stream. It supports multiple cameras or multiple webcams. So if you do wanna have a couple of different angles, then you can easily do that in here as well. You can add in screen shares, you can bring guests in, and your guests can even share their screen in your live stream as well. You can actually have up to 10 guests in your live show, but only four on stream at once. So yourself plus three guests, totaling four. So any other guests that you have in there that aren't actually live with you at that time, then they sit in what they call the green room or the waiting room. And from there, you can see all of those cameras and all of those people listed down the bottom. And to bring them in, you just got to click on them and swap people in and out. So you got a maximum of four on screen at once though. But the entire process for getting guests in and onto your stream is actually really, really simple. All you need to do is once you've created your stream, click the add guest button. It's gonna generate a link. You can then copy and paste that or share that with whoever you wanna have on there. They click on that, share their webcam and their microphone, and then they show up as a video source or as a guest that you can bring into your live stream. So while lots of other live streaming software now has this guesting feature as well, BeLive is actually one of the easiest to be able to get that running from both sides as a guest and as the host. Now there's also a heap of presets in there to change up the layout and how everything looks while you're live as well. So if you are switching from having just yourself on, you wanna bring in a guest or multiple guests, you can literally just click and switch between how you want that laid out. Whether you want three people side by side or just two shown on screen or even your screen share with yourself as a picture in picture on top of that. There are presets that you literally just click on and it will automatically move everything around and adjust while you're live. Now in the latest version of BeLive, you can now do so much more in regards to custom branding and to customize up all of your titles and graphics and things so that they match your brand. They've also got a mobile app. So if you've got guests that wanna join into your live stream from their phones or from their other devices, they can do that through the app. Or you as the host can actually control your stream from your mobile device too. Or you can assign it to someone else and get them to control your stream for you while you're live. 
Some of the other new features that they've added, one of them is around live shopping. You can now link directly to where people can buy products that will show up while you're live. So if you're talking about a specific product or you wanna mention your own products, then you can enable that through their support and you'll be able to link to them so people can purchase while you're live. They're also about to unlock some new features for gaming streams and they're adding in a live polling feature so that you can create polls while you're live to add more interaction and to find out more information from your live viewers as well. They've also added now the ability to download your live streams after you've been live. So if you wanna download a high quality version of your live stream, you no longer need to go off to Facebook or to use some downloading app. You can now just do it straight from within BeLive. They've also added the ability now to record a video without necessarily going live. So you could present your video as if it's live, maybe do an interview with someone, bring in a guest, or even just record yourself and your computer computer screen or a presentation and be able to download and save that video file without needing to go live. So you've now got some more options with BeLive as well. And I also like now with the new version that they've got a network or internet quality indicator that shows up in the top left corner. And it really just gives you an indication as to how good or bad your internet is while you're live, which you'd kind of want to know if you were having internet issues. Now in regards to the downsides or the things that aren't that great in there yet, the bandwidth usage or internet usage does still seem to be pretty high. This was something we mentioned in an earlier video that your requirement to be able to create a steady live stream in BeLive is still higher than it is in most of the other live broadcasting programs. I'm really not sure why this is, but I'm sure it's something that they can figure out and fix. But if you are someone that has less than say three to five megabits per second of upload speed, then you may find that you could have some issues using BeLive. The other things to be aware of with BeLive is that this is really aimed to be a nice, simple, easy to use way to go live and to have it look good and to have it look professional. So it doesn't have an absolute ton of customizability, things like setting the quality or the resolution of your stream, the frame rates, or just being able to pick things up and move everything around to really dial in the look and feel that you are after to make the stream really yours. Again, definitely not a deal breaker, but if you are someone who is looking for some of that more advanced control, or you really wanna be able to customize things up, then BeLive probably isn't going to be the solution for you. But if you're someone who has no interest at all in that stuff, then BeLive could be the perfect solution for you. Now in regards to pricing, there's a few different plans. They have a basic plan, which is free. This will allow you to create three live shows per month. You do have some customization with the branding, but not a lot. And you can have up to two people on screen at once. And you also don't have access to multiple cameras. Having your guests have the ability to share their screen or to be able to record your streams either, or to be able to create an offline recording where you're not going live, just doing a recording. But still, for the price of free, that's pretty crazy. But the next one up from that, the standard plan for $20 per month removes a lot of those restrictions. That gives you unlimited shows, it lets you add in your brand logo to customize up your design, to customize up your live stream, and you can have up to four people on screen. And above that, they are about to release a pro plan as well which obviously unlocks all of those features and also unlocks some of the features that are coming soon as well. Now, while the free plan is a pretty compelling offer, I would probably say that most people will be aiming towards the standard plan for the $20 a month, just given those extra features that it unlocks, they're gonna take your live streams to the next level. All right, so who would BeLive be great for? Would well, be perfect for someone who wants to go live, not just with their webcam, but to be able to add in titles and add in guests, to really be able to customize this up enough to make it more on brand, but again, to have it something that is super simple to use. And obviously, this is gonna work for someone whether they're on Mac or PC as well. But I would say that if you are someone who is looking for more advanced control, you wanna be able to really customize things up, then this is where BeLive is probably gonna fall short, especially if you're comparing it to something like Ecamm Live on Mac or more advanced and more expensive live stream software like Wirecast or vMix. So if you are someone on the more advanced side of things, then you should probably check out those ones. So those are my thoughts on BeLive TV. Now, if you're looking to make your live streams look more professional, then using a more professional camera could be the answer for you. Check out the video linked on screen now where we show you how you can use your DSLR or mirrorless or point and shoot camera as a webcam for live streaming. And I'll see you in the next one.